Yes, this is exactly what you think it is. It is a BBC Micro, fresh from December 1981. Yes, that long ago. Some people consider this to be as plain as a Bulgarian pinup, but I love this machine. It's blocky, it's boxy, but then it is durable and it is designed to be used in the educational market. And it looks hefty. I just love it, absolutely love it. I showed you the BBC Master the other day. Um, as you can see, this bit hasn't, this one hasn't got the bit on the side or the cartridge ports. It is just plain and basic. I say basic. There's a lot of kit in there. There's a 6502 processor running at 2 megahertz. There's either 16 or 32 kilobytes of RAM, depending on whether it's a Model A or B. This is actually the Model B. The Model A lacked um, RGB port, uh, torch port, uh, serial connector, things like that. And of course, it had its memory. I think the Model Bs were actually £100 more than the As, but they were pretty far more popular because people wanted the expansion functionality and they wanted the whole caboodle, not some sort of half-cut machine. And most Model As have actually been upgraded to Model Bs since then. It's very hard to find an original Model A. And at the back we have various things. We have all the RGB out, serial, cassette, I've got it plugged into a phono out again using a BNC connector. And obviously the BBC used BNC connectors all the time. They all the time. They were the standard in the uh, television industry. Analog in. And what's that over there? Uh, the Econet, of course, the Econet socket. Let's boot her up, shall we? Just a power switch on the back, same as the master. And we are in, look at that. Watford Electronics DDFS, that's the disk system it's detected. And we're into basic straight away. Quick command. No, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously I can't use the, um, I mean basic. This hasn't got the same command line as the uh, BBC Master. This is booting me straight into basic. Um, what can I do? Obviously I can write basic programs, I can do uh, perhaps something like uh, this might work. Um, there we go, that's made a sound, not a great sound. Sound, let's try 8 um, minus 200, 20, 500. Oh, it's going to go on for a long time, isn't it? I've timed that for far too long. But this is what you could do. Obviously, these systems had speakers built into them, as did all systems from this era. And the BBC programming language was beautiful. Designed, um, made by Roger Wilson. Uh, Steve Ferber designed the whole system, really. As Acorn took the, the reins in the educational market, uh, Chris Curry left Sinclair uh, Research in the 70s and set up Acorn with Herman Hauser. And when the Grundy New Brain pulled out of the running for the uh, BBC branded computer system, because the BBC wanted a computer system to show on their TV programs and they wanted to promote them in schools and get government funding for that, then Acorn stepped up. Sinclair also stepped up, but it was Acorn who clinched the deal right at the last moment. They had like um, seven days or even less than that to complete the system in. They had like the specs laid out for their new Proton machine. BBC wanted something different, so they had to completely redesign the specs before they arrived on the Friday. This is as close as uh, launching it at 7 a.m. on the Friday morning. They powered the system up for the BBC to see. And this is the result after all that labor. And the Electron followed this, and that's a cut down version of a BBC Micro designed for home gaming markets, because they wanted a piece of the Sinclair action. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about this. Econsoft Elite. Look at this, beautiful. Got a green screen here. Not ideal, but you get the idea. Load new commander. Damn right I want a new commander. Number one, commander's name. Bob, which drive? Put space or fire. God damn, look at this. Present system, lave, lave, docked. Okay, let's get out of here. How do we, how do we even do that? There you go, we're launching. Of course, this is the game which really defined this series of computers. It's the game which made people buy it for gaming rather than just for education because 
Yeah, before that it wasn't doing well. And of course it was made by Acorn Soft and that was the whole idea. They saw the game and they thought this is amazing. We need to take this for our systems and make it a defining game. And of course we all know that machines are defined by their games. Spectrum did so well because it had so many games that the BBC did well with this by itself. Okay, let's, let's do some turning. Pressing left, we can go left into space. And this was amazing back in the day because it was an entire like, universe in your computer. This is what I wanted, this is what kids wanted, to explore, to get out of their minds, to expand their horizons and to enter virtual worlds like this. Absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, we are rocking now. So there we are, that is the BBC Micro Computer System. A thing of absolute beauty to behold. Look at that lovely owl. I'll be doing a full system review on this in the near future, of course, but for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.